Oh! Oh! She's hideous. Hi, everybody. If you are new here, hello. I am Pinna Palmer, and I like to keep everything pink and spooky and clearly. Today, we're doing another spooky thing. Cue scary music. Yeah. On my last video, on my picnic video that I did with my little ghoul friends at the cemetery, I put in the video, can you guys figure out my little Easter eggs of the next video I would do? And well, we went to the Hollywood Forever Cemetery, went to go visit what? Vampire's Grave. Then if you look in the kitchen, there is a Plan 9 from Outer Space with Vampira on it. So that was like a little hint too. Well, now I get it. So those of you who got Vampira right, congratulations! You win nothing, but you got it right. Rip off! It was so good for you. Now, on to business. I am teaching you how to do the Vampira makeup look. Ooh. Ooh. Vampira is a famous horror hostess from the 1950s and 60s. And this character literally came out of nowhere out of a costume party. Go figure, right? Holy costume party. I wish nice things can happen to me at costume parties other than just getting belligerently drunk. <sighs> She's a drunk. Anyway, was really nervous about doing this makeup because, well, one, I've never done it. And two, Vampira has a very thin, kind of long, thin face. And I don't, and I tend to kind of stay away from people like that because I just, I don't know if I can look like them. <laughs> The essence is there, and I like it. So here is all the color palettes that you are going to need to create your Vampira look. Okay guys, here is the color palette for Vampira. Go ahead and take a screenshot. Here, let me darken the room, and we shall commence. This isn't a real cigarette, it's my brush. <laughs> okay, let's get it started. Okay, you guys, you know the drill. Go find your palest foundation and put it all over your face. Sorry that my face is red. I was scrubbing the crap out of it the other day, so it's all irritated. So I just put some uh, lighter concealer on to brighten up my face. Now I look like the Kentucky Fried Chicken Man. I got the chicken wings from Kentucky Fried. And I put some concealer right here on the edge of my eyebrows. I have really thin eyebrows, so I don't need to do the whole like drag, cover them up. Ability. Use your mouth. Type concealer I'm wearing is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. And I just kind of keep layering it. I'm just going to let that sit and dry while I blend the rest of this out. Go ahead and take a damp sponge and blend the rest of your concealer out and up. We are trying to go for a snatched kind of look. And don't touch the concealer with the eyebrows beneath it. Let that dry as much as you can. And like I said, if you guys have very thick eyebrows, I really suggest that you guys learn how to glue down your eyebrows first before you attempt to look like this. Or else it'll look like you have two set of eyebrows. And that's definitely not what we're going for. Next, I'm gonna go in just with powder and just get a light powder or even a white powder just to kind of pale yourself out a bit. Uh, mine is the William Tut. Principal Snyder has walked like an Egyptian stuck in his head. And I'm just gonna kind of lightly dust this all over my face, but then kind of bake it underneath my eyes. So with a light or translucent powder, I like to put it underneath my eyes, but I'm still using that lift effect. So I'm keeping everything usually above my cheekbone, just below my nose, a little bit on my chin and a little bit on the center of my forehead. And if you want, you can powder the top of your eyebrows now that they have dried. On to contouring my nose. As I see here, Vampira has a very tiny nose, so I'm taking a pretty dark taupe shade and going down the sides of my bridge all the way to the tip of my nose. And I'm using that same taupe dark color underneath my nose to give it more of a lift. And then I am using a dark black shadow and I'm putting it inside my nostrils to give my nostrils a slightly bigger form. Put it in your nose on purpose. And then after that, I take a highlighting color. This color is usually somewhere along the lines of a vanilla color. And I'm using it on the tip of my nose and down the center of my nose, very little bit on the tip of my nose and on the sides of my nose to give myself that slender look that she had. 
Once you're pleased with the new nose that you just gave yourself, go ahead and dust off all the remaining powder on your face. Dusty. All right, now that we're done with the nose, I think it is time for some eyebrows. And to some, this is the most beautiful and iconic or the most scariest part of the makeup. <laughs> anyway, and I got this Maybelline Lasting Drama Gel Liquid Eyeliner little kit thing. It looks like this. Maybe it's Maybelline. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Kinda. And uh, we're going to attempt Vampira's crazy eyebrows. I'll put a picture right here. This is probably the most iconic part of her entire makeup that she created. I'm Mrs. Jones. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to turn out. Like I said, I've never done this before. You can tell. Let's try it. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna dip this in with this. I don't know if I'm gonna like this applicator. I don't know how high I'm going to take them, but I'm just gonna start with the base. You can also use a lighter color pencil to kind of sketch out the eyebrows that you want so it's easier to erase if you just mess up. Or you can be an idiot like me and just go in with the black eyeliner, yay! I look like Spongebob, me hoity hoy! So for me, the easiest way to do this was just to start with the first arch of the eyebrow where it meets all the way at the point. And I did that on both sides and I slowly started filling it in. Keep in mind too that Vampira's eyebrows are rounded towards the corner of her eyes and it comes at a complete sharp point and it goes straight down. It's kind of fun. And try to keep these eyebrows medium to thin. And if you happen to mess up, don't worry. You can go ahead and take your concealer and shape it to your desired brow. <gasps> She's looking angry. Uh, uh huh. She looks great. But I'm gonna go ahead and do this side, and then I will get you. And then uh... she had a stroke. And then I will get back to you guys very, very soon. Done. <laughs> it's a bold statement. If you guys can get past this part, everything else is just easy peasy from here on. So let's dust off the old book and take a look at Vampira's eyes here. <sighs> and uh, she's got about a white eyeliner, a slight little under eye kind of shadow happening here. She has a white base and then a crease. And then it's pretty basic. And then she has just corner eyelashes is what I'm kind of noticing here. So nothing too crazy on the eyelids. So let's get this started. Sad, pretty, but ineffectual and, and tragic. I'm gonna go into Jeffree Star's uh, cremated palette. How fitting for Vampira. For the base of the eyeshadow, try to get a matte white color and put it all over the top of your lid, all the way up to your eyebrow almost. For the crease, I'm gonna take just like a little crease brush like this, and we're gonna go back into the cremated palette. I'm gonna go into the color Life Insurance and Orbituary. Rest in peace. And we're just gonna hit that crease and just kind of, it's a very rounded crease too, kind of like Marilyn's, how we did in the past, but just with less taupey colors and more cool tone gray colors. Like I said, go ahead and take a light gray color and put it in the crease of your eye and keep it very round. I'm gonna go back in with Death Row and just kind of hit that highlight brow bone a little bit. Very much like Marilyn. Just crazier eyebrows. Just like her. All right, we are done with the top lid. I'm gonna go in with the same little tiny brush and I'm just gonna go into Life Insurance first. Now take a slightly darker gray shade and get it as close to your lash line as you possibly can. Try not to blend it out. Drink break. I think Vampira's getting one too. Right, Vampira? What I need is a Vampira cocktail to settle my nerves. Same. Mine's Dr. Pepper. Next, we're gonna just put some white eyeliner in our waterline. I'm just gonna take a liquid eyeliner and I'm noticing with Vampira's eyes, I'll put it up right here again. Um, she really doesn't have too crazy of eyeliner. There is a slight wing and it does point upwards. Yeah, but I'm not seeing anything too crazy here. So 
I mean, these pictures are really hard to tell. Perhaps a small one. Yeah, it's just a small wing. So we're gonna go ahead and do a small wing. Black eyeliner. I'm gonna go ahead and do this eye, and I'll see you guys later. See you soon. Now that I'm done with the top winged eyeliner, I'm gonna go back into the cremated palette, take an angled brush like this, hit a little bit of hearse and just kind of grave digger, just something kind of on the darker side. Lay on the dark side. And we're gonna go in on our bottom kind of eyelash line and just really cut it close. Nothing thick, nothing too crazy. This is just what I noticed that was something on her, so. Now, just like we did last time, we're gonna take an even darker color gray, if not black, and put it right on our bottom lash line as close as we can get it. We're just gonna put mascara on. If you haven't already curled your eyelashes, go ahead and do so. This one's pretty obvious, but go ahead and grab your black mascara and put it on the top and bottom of your eyelashes. Okay, so I'm gonna do eyelashes a little bit later. Right now, I'm gonna go into the contouring. And there are two things that I see with Vampire. I'll put up a picture here. She has pretty gaunt, kind of high, high cheekbones that go all the way down here. And I actually noticed on her at a couple angles that she actually has a dimple chin. So we're gonna create a dimple chin. Dimple, dimple, dimple. Kind of like uh, Bride of Frankenstein too. She has a dimple chin. The Bride of Frankenstein. First, I'm gonna go into the cremated palette and I'm gonna pick the color Obituary. It's kind of like a gray beige. I'm gonna go in with kind of like a flat brush like this. And I'm gonna start all the way at my cheekbones right here, just a little higher. Go ahead and hit that contour right below your cheekbone and drag it as far as you can down the center of your face, almost to the bottom of your chin. And take that same contour shade and get your jawline, bring it all the way down to your neck and carve out a smaller jawline if you can. Elvira's face was quite long, so I'm, I'm trying to give myself a slimmer jaw closer to hers. And from the chin bottom up, I'm just gonna kinda, kinda just draw a line, like so. Nothing too crazy, right? My chin. I'm gonna kinda round it out. And then I'm gonna go underneath my lip like this, kind of create like a U shape. Right here, something kind of like a vanilla color, something lighter in your skin. And you're gonna go on the sides. Now to make it look like volume is in your chin, go ahead and take that vanilla shade and put it on the sides of the line that you just created and just a little bit above it in that same circular motion that you put that shadow and blend it out. See, now you have a butt chin. Let's put on some eyelashes. These are by the brand Kiss, and they are in the type drenched, kind of wet like this. Wet. Go ahead and cut your eyelashes in half and put them on the corner of your eyes. Okay, so let's move on to lips. I'm gonna, of course, take the Daphne Beauty, uh, the deep red color. This has been my go-to color for almost everything. I'm just showing you guys how versatile this color is. I have done at least how many characters now with just this lipstick? Yeah, I love it. I love it. So her lips are like, they look like a trout. <laughs> like a fish, okay? Like a drunk fish. <laughs> In the nicest way possible. They look like a fish. They go down. They're not too crazy. They do have a sweetheart top, but it's not too high up. But the most interesting part about this lip is they point down to give her really that mm, mad, sad fish trout kind of look. To my fish lips. So for this, you guys, we are starting off with a normal lip. We are not overdrawing too much. Uh, we are keeping that Cupid's bow in there. Just start off with a normal lip. Don't do anything crazy to it yet. Once you get the shape you like, go ahead and fill it in and then do the bottom lip. Once your normal lip is complete, go ahead and take that lip liner and take the top lip and drag it down. Only the top lip, do not touch the bottom lip at all. Just keep on extending that lip down like a trout. It should almost come to like a point. Also, like I noticed in Vampira's lips, they changed often. So sometimes they look like normal's 1950s kind of lips or some had more of a accentuated kind of fish mouth. It's up to you what you want, maybe somewhere in the middle. 
for those who don't know, this is how I do my beauty marks. I take Lash Duo in the color black and I'll take a bobby pin like so, you guys can see it. And see the little balls at the bit? Balls. Bottom of it, I will dip it into the Lash Duo and it'll dry black. Okay, so now I believe the makeup is done. I'm gonna go put on the outfit and then we're gonna add some kind of like widow's peak and she did weird things with her hairline. She brought it back because apparently her head was shaved. Look at this. What a look for that time. And she looks like a monster. I have a lace front wig and I'm gonna go ahead and put it on and show you guys what it looks like. Are you ready? No. Okay, we're in Vampire's outfit. My waist is cinched and Let's put on this wig cap, shall we? This is just my quick way of putting on a wig cap. I really don't pin it anywhere except just one little pin in the back uh, because I'm not moving or doing anything today. But if you have a lot of hair, I suggest pin curling all the curls around your head to get the flattest look that you can. Right here, I feel like I look like Vampira when she had her head shaved, but only a little piece in front of her hair. Doesn't it look a little similar? And now I'm retouching my lipstick and extending my lips just a little bit longer. Wig cap is on, looking like deflated Squidward. Here is the wig. Ooh. It is a lace front wig. It is from Dioro Wigs. You guys are always asking me, where are my wigs from? You guys, most of my wigs that I get from are like uh, necessary styling and Dioro Wigs are usually the places or I just find them at random places, but Dioro is usually who I have like special requests from. Vampira's wig, ooh. I haven't tried her on yet. This is exactly how she came in the box. So nice, so neat. And of course, I'm gonna put on the Vampira nails. You can't do with Vampira without her nails. No, maybe this was too much for them. I don't have as long nails, but I have some that'll work, but I'll do that after everything is on. I also haven't cut the lace front from this yet. So, we'll see how she does. So this is what I was talking about. Ooh, let's not get my eyebrows caught. If you have a wig, go ahead and take out a sharp pair of scissors and cut out the lace front as close as you can. Uh, leave a little bit of lace front though so you can glue it down. I am not using glue today because I'm not going anywhere, uh, but usually I have wig glue laying around somewhere. Okay, so the wig isn't styled yet, but I cut the lace front and I pulled it back as far as I could to my like natural hairline. Uh, the difference is with this wig, we're going to kind of pull this and we're gonna create kind of a widow's peak with black eyeliner. And then we're also going to kind of pull this back and then create kind of like a, it's like a weird sideburn triangle action that's happening here. I'll put a picture of what I'm talking about. If you see, that'll really help and change your face to give it more of that vampire look. So we're gonna go in with that same black eyeliner. Like I said, take that black eyeliner and create a false widow's peak. Don't forget to leave the part in between the middle when I mean part, I mean a little line in between so it looks like your part is continuing all the way to the point of your widow's peak. And it, see how it's kind of like rounded here? That's not her look from the side. She had kind of a, a curved triangle happening here. For the side sideburns, go ahead and just make a little triangle and then just fill it in. It's that simple. And once you're finished with that side, go ahead and do the same on the other side. Ta-da! Put my nails on. I think we are finished with Vampira's look. I like the way it turned out, even though she has a very longer face than I do. The idea is there, right? Yeah. All right, guys, so here is my final look for Vampira. I think I did pretty good despite my face shape, so I did what I could. But let me know in the comments if you guys have any ideas on who should I attempt next. Despite the crazy eyebrows, why does this look kind of good? Sure. <laughs> this is gonna be my everyday look. <laughs> I really like it. This look is... Hot. So for my next video, you guys, I've been seeing a lot of comments and you wanted a, a closet tour of my little pink closet. Show us. And you know what? I thought, 
yes, I will finally show you guys my little pink closet of horror, my AKA, my bat cave, and I just can't wait to show up. Oh, oh I, I didn't mean literally. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh. What's messed up my hair? Only the highest quality special effects on this show, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, I will be showing you guys a little closet tour. It is small, but it's got a lot of hidden nooks and crannies and spooky things hidden in here. And I can't wait to show you guys it. Uh, I have to clean it up though, really fast. It's a mess. You see Joey's shoes down here? Ugh. Yeah, we'll throw them out. So I think that is it for me today, you guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that bell down below to notify yourself that I just uploaded a new video. Here is my Instagram handle if you guys want to follow me here. And um, also, I have a podcast, a horror podcast, a comedy horror podcast with my friend Gabby, who was in my last video. Uh, it's called the Talkie Horror Podcast Show. But it's... If you guys like my channel, then you'll like the podcast. So go ahead and give us a follow at the Talkie Horror Podcast Show. Shame Shameless plug. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am Pinna Palmer and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.